We've got Izzy here from Izzy's Caravan. How are you doing today? Doing well, man. Doing well. Really glad to be here. Yeah. Now, you've got a new album that you've released called Blow the Lid. So can you just sort of describe the basic idea of that album for us, first of all? Yeah, this was, uh, honestly, it was, uh, it was a long time coming, man. Mm. Um, and uh, it's a pretty straight up um, blues rock record. Um, it's pretty abrasive, uh, yeah. um, you know, very sort of uh, going back to the roots, uh, garage band style, uh, mm. you know, rock blues record. And uh, it was really fun doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And how did the band itself first get together and how was it formed? Wow, that's a uh, that's a book in itself, man. Yeah. Um, but I guess the the, the roots of uh, Izzy's Caravan actually go back to uh, to the early two thousands. Mm. So uh, myself and Sim, who's uh, the the vocalist, um, yeah. we actually released a couple of records back in uh, two thousand and six. Um, and uh, but then I quit music altogether, right? So. Mm. Uh, I literally just, you know, I got really disillusioned with the music scene. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, the guitar had sort of become a furniture rather than sort of like a, you know, a, an artistic tool. And uh, yeah. and it was like I got really disillusioned. I gave up, gave up the guitar music for over a decade or so. Oh. Um, but um, fast forward to about 2018 or so, and I picked it up again. Mm. And uh, I really got into like blues and uh, like the traditional sort of real Americana blues and uh, yeah. uh, ended up releasing an EP called Leo's Guitar, oh. you know, um, as a tribute to Leo Fender. Uh, so it was a very straight up blues record. And, um, you know, one thing led to another and a couple of EPs followed. And now we've got this record out, you know, the band is back. Mm. And um, yeah, it's been awesome, man. It's been a, it's been a pretty fun journey yeah for sure and what made you decide to call the band izzy's caravan what is it about caravans that works well uh when i initially started this project so it was just myself right yeah and um and i figured okay well you know i don't really sing that well hmm. so uh at some point i'm gonna need uh, you know other people to collaborate and bring some musicians in you know, yeah. bring anyone who's into sort of blues rock music and they can sort of join the caravan, so to speak, right? So yeah. so, so the initial idea was to keep it pretty open-ended and, mm. uh, you know, bring in different musicians to, uh, you know, to play different instruments, play their parts. But eventually it sort of became, you know, they organically it took a life of its own. And, uh, you know, Sim and I reconnected and, uh, you know, Robbie, who's who plays keys for us, uh, he got back and uh, and uh, now it's it's a lot more structured now. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you think have been your favorite projects to work on since this group has been around? Oh, you know, honestly, every record is uh, is like the favorite project, right? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. and I'm guessing you know, even the next the next one's gonna be like, oh, this one's the favorite one, mm. but. Um, uh, but you know, every all of them sort of had their unique uh, stories mm. and their unique sort of history and their identity. Uh, on the Bull um, was an EP that I released last year in June. That was really fun. Yeah, um, that was, uh, and I think that was when uh, this project sort of realized its identity. Mm. That okay, this is the sound that we're going for. Very sort of. You know, take the blues and crank it up to eleven. Yeah, and uh, you know, let the guitars and the drums sort of drive uh, uh, these tracks. So, so that was a really fun record. Yeah, for sure. And do you have any more records and projects and albums coming up that you're able to tell us about at the moment? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you know, well, uh, tragically, we're sort of you know, our hands are tied with this pandemic right yeah. now. And, uh, and it's been pretty, uh, uh, you know, it's been sort of, I mean, I guess, I don't want to use the word tragic because obviously, yeah. you know, the 
but it's been uh, it's been rough in the sense um, we have this amazing catalog of music already, and uh, we couldn't take it out on the road. But um, well, for one, we are working on a tour schedule for yeah. next summer, though, um, uh, in the U.S. And but we've got all this time, and I'm sort of predicting that um, we'll probably have a new record or a new EP out at least yeah. by December, because I've already got a bunch of riffs that you know Sim and I are sort of working on right now. And you know, it's always like, all right, let's take a break. Then we just did an album. Um, but it never, you know, once you sort of get that itch, you know, you get one riff down and that's the snowball to a whole new album. Yeah. So by December, I'm guessing something new is going to pop up for sure. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I do have, I, sorry, I do have one single that's coming out in, uh, in a couple, couple of weeks. Oh. It's a tribute to uh, Woody Guthrie mm. uh, for his birthday. So, um, so yeah, I'm drop, I've been dropping a new single uh, I ain't gotten a home uh, as a tribute to Woody Guthrie on his birthday. Great, that's exciting. Well, where are we able to check out all the music that you have released so far then? Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you know, people can go on our website, which is uh, izzyscaravan.com. That's uh, I-Z-Z-I-E-S, Caravan. Um, you can check out our Facebook page. Uh, yes, we're all over uh, yeah. We're not really big into social media and stuff, yeah. so, but so, so yeah. So our website's like it's like a real action-packed website, man. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. It's been great having you here. Yeah, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for having me.